else see it. It's unbelievable. That there's if that's Venus, there's something really, really wrong, everyone. If that is Venus, there is something really wrong with that. There's no way they can tell me it's looked like that all this time. And more controversy into what we are seeing in the southwest region of the sky and it is not venus okay folks so over the last couple of days all of this information has come out about the object in the southwest portion of the sky and also the big argument over this nasa sechi footage that was supposed to be a glitch in their camera systems now, as far as what we are visualizing in the southwest sky, I just want to make something very clear because we're getting a lot of flack and the debunkers are out there and they're all saying, it's Venus, it's Venus. Okay, well, it's not Venus. We know where Venus is in the early evening sky. Now, everyone that is sending footage in and photographs, they're informed on where Venus is located in the early evening sky. Now we're looking into the southwest region of the sky and let's just take a look from Earth's perspective right here. So we know where Venus is, we know where the Sun is, we know where this, uh, excuse me, the uh, Mars is. Now we're looking directly up in this area. This is where we are seeing the object. It is slightly outside of the constellation of Sagittarius. So do you see Venus in that high portion of the sky in the constellation of Sagittarius during the month of November? Answer, no, you do not. Now it insults all of our intelligence when debunkers are telling us these people are stupid. They don't know what they're doing. They're complete idiots. They don't know what they're photographing, but we do know where we are looking in the sky and we are not looking at Venus we are not looking at Venus now let's just take a look at where Venus is in the sky this is for November 2016 and you can clearly see where my cursor is here's Venus right above the horizon we are looking high in this portion of the sky. I don't even have enough of this photograph to show you how high in the sky we are visualizing this object. Let's move to another photograph. Now, once again, we're looking, here's Venus, here's Saturn, southwest, moon. We're looking far up into this area. This is where the object is coming from. It's not Venus, it's not Saturn, and it's definitely not Jupiter in the early morning hours when you can see Jupiter. Once again, we're going to look southwest one hour after sunset.
Micah in here with another eye-opening message. In today's video, I would like to talk about a quick topic that I have not seen anyone mention here on YouTube. And for that matter, it has completely gone under the radar with mainstream media. And this is about the International Day of the United Nations, which happened yesterday on Saturday, October 24th, 2015. The United Nations, or the UN, has been all over the headlines in the past couple of months lately. They have just had their annual meeting, they have recently established an international global goals program, and they have just celebrated their 70th year in power anniversary. And this all brings me to a very concerning subject which you're going to see here. So brothers and sisters, as I mentioned earlier yesterday on Saturday, also known as the Day of Saturn, the whole world celebrated the International Day of the United Nations. And this takes me to this page in particular. Here I am on the Twitter account of the United Nations News Center, where they talk about all things United Nations. And I want to show you these tweets that have gone underrated. And here you could see that over 80 countries with over 300 world famous sites lit up in the color blue to support the United Nations. And the whole world did this. And I'm surprised not more people have found out about it. You could see the Empire State Building in New York doing this. The Central Hall in London right here is lighting up in blue. The pyramids in Giza did and the Great Wall of China and so many more. These are just like four of them out of literally hundreds. So let's move on. I want to tell you guys why I put so much significance on Saturday and why I brought up that it is also known as Saturn's Day. So if you take a look here, if you're looking closely here, you will see the main head of the United Nations. His name is Von Ki Moon, and he's unveiling a new statue right here that is called the Enlightened Universe. And this is going on in New York City, specifically in Central Park. And this is very important because it has many, many significant and spiritually, spiritual meanings, guys. And if we take a look at the statue, guys, if we take a closer look, we can see a silver or a chrome sphere that is supposed to represent the Earth with children and people encircling it. Now, when I zoom in to the sphere, when I really take a deeper look at it, I would notice that it is not completely flat, that it has rigged edges, and you could actually make out many cubes on this globe, which is another symbol for Saturn. These cubes are equal to Saturn. The statue is saturated into in occult symbolism, guys. This is crazy. And the most significant part is, prepare for this, guys. You see that the people that are surrounding this sphere, they are actually in the formation of a spiral, which has two meanings, guys, two meanings. You could see the kids first forming a ring, just a ring around this globe. What other sphere or globe in our solar system has a ring around it. Think about it. It's Saturn. Once again, Saturn. Saturn is Satan. We know that the black cube of Saturn represents Satan, meaning that these people are in fact worshiping the Saturn statue, worshiping the devil. The United Nations is so satanic, guys, and they want nothing more than to distance us from the one true God. And number two, part two, if you pay attention more closely, you will see also that these kids are also in a form of a spiral. And the spiral shape is the shape that makes the number six. Now the number six is not an evil number in itself. 
but it does have so many negative connotations within it and it's a number that the occult and the elite and the illuminati all use in rituals which is really really bad guys this is straight blasphemy and an abomination onto our lord and it really makes me upset because if we think about it if we really think about it take a look at this guys take a look we see in this article and this just happened a couple weeks ago that Oklahoma's controversial Ten Commandments monument was quietly removed overnight. So it was removed. We were not allowed to have our Ten Commandments in Oklahoma, but we were allowed to get this blasphemous statue, this statue that represents Saturn and demonic entities. This is crazy. This is slowly taking away our religious freedoms. And this is true. This is the best way I could put it. The United Nations is taking over, taking over the whole world. And the whole world is supporting it. These prophecies in the Bible are coming to pass. It is insane. And this New World Order is coming really fast. It's coming so fast, it's coming with a blink of their satanic, evil, disgusting eyes. So guys, I hope you really found this information useful. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I have. And I want to wish you guys a beautiful day and a beautiful night wherever you are. This was Spike In with a Spike In TV approved message. Comment, like, and subscribe for more content.